Okay, this is going to be our uh, SOP for starting a cutter. Also, just checking it over and making sure that all the fluids are topped up. Okay, so when we get on the roof, before we start this, let's come over here. This is the gas tank. It uses regular gas, not premix. Simply opens up, fill it with gas, close it back up. Second thing we're gonna check, we come down here, is this is the oil dipstick. I'm not gonna open it right now because the cutter's a little bit up, but you wanna get the cutter level. You can pull this, it'll be the dipstick for your oil. There's also a fill station. Come around the other side. So down here. So this can be also used to fill uh, oil and the backside used to drain. So that's the oil, the gas, uh, air filter is in here. This is a fairly new cutter, so it is not, uh, it's not too dirty, a little bit dusty. Take it right off so you can see what it looks like. This should be checked before and after every job. It doesn't have to be checked every day unless it's very dusty. You can see it's not too bad. Everything looks super clean in there. This cutter is new. Newer. That goes back on, wing nut. Snug it up. And then the case goes back on. Okay, so those are the main three things. Uh, check the gas every time before you use it. Oil and air filter, beginning and end of every job to make sure nothing's going on with the cutter. Okay, so to start it up, da -da -da. come back here. So on the bottom of the cutter, there is a kill switch. So you have an on off. We're gonna leave it off for now because I don't want to start it accidentally. Around this side, if you've used any sort of small engines, very familiar, we have a gas lever with an arrow pointing that way. So gas is on, gas is off if you're not gonna be using it for a while. And this is a choke. We put it on choke when we go to start it. And then after it warms up a little bit, we'll turn the choke off. This is the throttle lever, which also is hooked up to this lever here. So you can adjust the throttle while you are using it. So we'll show the blade next, back around this side. So before every day, with the cutter turned off, we're gonna lift the guard and check the blade. Uh, there's two, and there's also a, tri or a three blade blade, three prong blade, I don't know how you'd say it. Triaxle, um, this looks good, this looks good. A blade will be worn, uh, we'll have chips and breaks out of this, and it'll start getting small down to here. So this blade is fairly new as well. We just swapped it out. Um, I do like the triple blades a little better. This one vibrates a titch, but just make sure that this isn't broken. If this is broken, you're not gonna be able to cut through the roof. It's gonna make a really weird sound. Make sure the guard is down. Make sure there's not holes in it because it will shoot rocks everywhere. I guess we'll fire it up. So we'll come over here. Okay, so the way to move this around is you uh, pressure on the back handles uh, and then just push it. So we're gonna flip this to the on switch. Our gas is on. Just come on over just so, in case. So we turn the switch on, gas is gonna be on. I'm gonna turn this to choke, which is that little symbol. Can you get right in there to see that symbol? So somebody sees it. So the choke is the angled uh, lever there. So choke, we'll put our safety glasses on. This cannot be operated without safety glasses. Camera guys are exempt. Um, and that's a pull start. So use your right hand. Uh, if you're a lefty, it's gonna be hard, but keep your left foot on here so it doesn't move. We're gonna let it run for a couple seconds, let it warm up. Okay, so we're not gonna go over how to cut the roof. We'll make a different video for that later. I think I got one. 
Um, so this is your SOP, standard operating procedure for how to check maintenance on the cutter, get it started, and look for any defects. All right, thank you, bye.